When we want to talk about biomarkers in myeloma, so um, there are, uh, so I would say that a lot of biomarkers in myeloma, some of them are classical, I would say, and some of them are, are novel, they are in development. So, uh, so a diagnosis, um, so some biomarkers are used for, for, for diagnosis, and, um, and I can say that, you know, so the 10% the plasma cells that we need to diagnose a patient with myeloma can be considered a biomarker, uh, identify bad morphology or identify bad morphology because we need to identify them by, by morphology. And then um, in separated abnormal plasma cells, you know, cytogenetics can also be considered a biomarker at diagnosis. So for 14, 14, 16, deletion P53, anomalies of uh, chromosome 1, all of them are cytogenetic classic biomarkers. Then also a diagnosis, so the monoclonal protein assessed by serum protein electrophoresis and immune fixation the free light chains, the urine, uh, the, the urine, um, the Benz Jones proteinuria can also be considered biomarkers and also the results of imaging techniques at diagnosis. Uh, we, we know that they have a prognostic value and they, they can also be considered biomarkers in myeloma. Uh, so, so I guess uh, more uh, important is to, uh, you know, to comment about the novel biomarkers. Again, a lot of uh, um, a lot of biomarkers uh, that are that are currently in investigation. Uh, so, genetic biomarkers, proteomic biomarkers, and, um, angiogenic related biomarkers. And I can comment a little bit more about the, um, you know, the, the identification of circulating tumor plasma cells as a novel biomarker. So now cytometry is more sensitive as compared to you know the years uh, the years before so we are able to identify the presence of circulating tumor plasma cells uh, for which we need uh, more sensitive techniques because we know that they are in one or two logs lower than as compared to the marrow and so the identification of these circulating tumor plasma cells allows us to recapitulate the whole uh, tumor burden because we, we do not analyze only just a single site of the marrow but the whole uh, peripheral blood and and um, so, so we know now that the, the quantification of circulating tumor plasma cells has a significant prognostic value at diagnosis at all stages of the disease. And uh, so we also know that in patients with smoldering myeloma, uh, even the, uh, the quantification of these circulating tumor plasma cells can have um, so a higher prognostic value as compared to the, not, not as compared to the two 2020 of the International Myeloma Working Group, but as compared to the two, uh, uh, to the 20, sorry, uh, percent of bone marrow plasma cells in the marrow in the 2 2020 um, score of the International Myeloma Working Group.